Okay, so somebody had posted that there is a rock behind the pumpkin in the Forgotten Lands that we can pick up stuff. And I was kind of curious. Some people were able to pick up a variety of different things. I guess I never thought that we could walk back there behind the pumpkin. Um, maybe we could at some point. But you guys let me know if we were able to before. But let's go check it out. This is Lisa. This is Unbounded Play. Thank you for coming to the video today. And don't forget to subscribe and like. Hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. It really helps me to continue to do videos for Dreamlight Valley. So let's go ahead and head up to the Forgotten Land so we can check out what's going on behind the pumpkin. So there were a few people that said that they were able to get sticks and some flowers uh, by, there's a rock behind the pumpkin and now we can kind of walk through the pumpkin. <laughs> And that the rock wasn't there before um, because, what is the reason here? Uh, the rock is only there now because of where the waterfall is in the Sunlit Plateau. So I guess the waterfall being there for the Sunlit Plateau makes the rock be, be there behind the pumpkin. Uh, that was kind of posted by Sarah May in one of the Dreamlight Valley posts. So thank you for letting us know that that happened. All right, so let's adventure through this rock. So we see the rock. I'm sorry, I got all these trees still here. I tried to clean it all out. All right, so we just walked through the rock. So we are behind the pumpkin and kind of inside there. You can see where it says pick up. So we'll go ahead and I'm kind of uh, playing around with this. So you can see I'm kind of going in and out of this rock. I apologize for the visuals if it makes you dizzy. It kind of made me dizzy too, trying to kind of see what was back here. Uh, Nala is following me around for her little adventure of catching all the fish. So don't mind her. Uh, she doesn't really care about the rock. She wants her fish. And um, yeah, so let's see if we can pick up some things back here. So there, I got some sticks, the white, like light colored sticks. Oh, another, and another set of sticks, and I think there's one more pickup. Yeah, did you see it? My little critter keeps wanting to get pet, so that kind of keeps popping up while I'm back here. Yeah, there's one more pickup, and, oh, I gotta fix that. <laughs> I don't know, I, like... I pick up stuff and then I forget to drop it off. I have little trunks behind each one of Goofy's um, carts so that I can get rid of things within each one of the biomes. Oh, okay, so I did pick up the another item. So there's an empty spot in my, in my backpack. So we'll check it out and see what's in there. I don't think there's anything else to pick up. Um, but so far we've gotten two, two sets of sticks and I picked up something else. Yeah, I'm just kind of scooting around through this rock just to make sure I picked up everything. But I guess this just kind of lets you know that if you're looking for some flowers um, or some sticks or whatever, they, there might be some behind the pumpkin and we can still walk behind the pumpkin until we can move it. Okay, so I did get the red flowers. They're there, the Nastri Nastorium? <laughs> Nastor? Somebody else pronounced that. <laughs> so, yeah. And I did try to see, like, if we could move the, move the pumpkin house. I knew we couldn't. Um, somebody had kind of mentioned maybe that they had, but I don't think we're able to move that yet. And uh, I'm hoping that comes up in in the new update that we can move this pumpkin house kind of adjust it into a different spot. And obviously the question on everybody's mind is who is in the pumpkin house? So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little tiny adventure behind the pumpkin house to see this rock and that we can walk through it and pick up, you know, random items that may possibly be behind there. So yeah, see, I was trying to see if that was a possibility to move the pumpkin house, but it's not. Anyway, 
Thank you for coming to the channel as always. I appreciate you. And uh, I hope you found this little tiny video really fun. Um, you know, when someone posts something and you're like, oh my gosh, I gotta get the Switch out. Or your game, you know, whatever gaming uh, platform you're on and racing to it. It just adds a little bit of excitement into the air um, for your day, for your evening, um, gets you out of bed to go and check it out. So I hope this uh, kind of gave some excitement for you for the day, um, got you moving um, to go check it out. But thank you for coming to the video. I appreciate you. Please support the video and the channel by subscribing and hitting the thumbs up button and have a great adventure in Dreamlight Valley.